All right, so the final thing that we need to do for our water sampling is look at turbidity. Um, this is a turbidimeter here made by Hawk, just like the case that we were just using. Um, so how we're gonna work with this is there are two trap doors, as you can see here. This is where you're going to put your samples in and this is where the cover hangs out. Uh, typically, we normally have all of the standards that we use for turbidity in a case like this, but I actually put them out for you already. So what we're gonna do here show you these so um, hopefully everyone knows what turbidity is turbidity is the um, suspended kind of solids in the water the inability for light to pass through um, so these standards all have different NTUs which are nephilometric turbidity units that's what turbidity is measured in so we do have to shake them to suspend them this is 1.0 NTUs shake this one up this is 10 NTUs then we have about a hundred or not about, exactly 100 NTUs, and then 1,000 NTUs. And you can see that these all get a little cloudier as you go on, um, and these are the different uh, ways to measure turbidity. So what we're gonna do here, I always start with 10. 10 is my golden rule, either you can go higher or lower if you need to. So we're gonna put this right in the top, we're gonna turn this on. You have 1,000, 100, 10, and one. We're gonna go to 10. There is a 10, put this right in the top, and cover it with the cover. We have a standardizer here. We want to bring this needle, as you can see right here, to the 10. So I'm gonna move this over with a standardizer. Oh, look, just a little more. And it's right about 10. Okay, so now that this is standardized to 10, we're gonna grab our water sample. There's a little light in here, which you can see on my hand right now. This is the measuring how much light can pass through the sample. Again, that's what turbidity is. Um, so we're gonna fill this up pretty much to the top. Take a paper towel because there is that little bulb in there. Clean it off, wipe it off, and then we're gonna put it in here. Right in there like that and cover it up. So this marking, we're on that zero to 10 line. Um, it looks, it's about, I don't know, 8.2, 8.3. I'm gonna go with 8.3. Um, so you can read that and that's what our turbidity is. So turbidity in flowing water should be, be between zero and 10 NTUs. That's like kind of the standard that you want. And then for standing water, it's about zero to two. Um, turbidity or suspended solids can um, really make the water really chocolate milk. You've seen that after high flow events or anything like that. Um, it could interfere with the fish's ability to take in oxygen and all that stuff through its gills. Um, so it's definitely really important to measure. And normally, again, we would have two samples that you can look at um, and uh, analyze. So that's how you use the tribidometer. And if you have any questions, please let us know.